Welcome back to Everyday Blessings. If you're new here, my name is Nina and I'm a homeschooling mom with five kids at home and six kids total. Here on my channel, I talk about everything homeschooling from tots to teens in real life. God did not make me Pinterest perfect and I don't pretend to be. So you may catch my house a mess. You may catch me with no makeup on and you may hear my kids squabbling in the background. That's just real life. And that's the way I like to keep it around here. I like to keep it real. Okay, let's talk about homeschooling teenagers for a little bit. I love Charlotte Mason. Love it. It didn't really work out for us in the younger years because my children were at different levels and none of those levels were quite independent yet. Now that my son is more of an independent learner, I'm taking full advantage of Charlotte Mason. I love this method for teenagers. Let me tell you why. Charlotte Mason is all about living books. Living books and habits. Habits that you form that will take you through the rest of your life. What do teenagers need? Structure, stability, and they need and crave independence. So I use fun schooling journals and the Charlotte Mason method with my teenager. This has worked amazingly. I'm not hovering over him, making sure that he's checking off his boxes and getting his things done. I'm taking a step back. If you're familiar with the Charlotte Mason method, it's very, very, very book heavy. Now, one of the things with my teenager is that he cannot read more than one book at a time. And the Charlotte Mason method is very like, okay, this novel is for your history and this one is for um, literature and this one is for science and you read them at the same time. Well, that's a little too confusing. So we just take it step by step, almost as if unit by unit. I like this method because it gives my son independence. It makes him accountable for his education within some parameters. I can still help him. He's not just, okay, you're a teenager, you're totally, your education is your own. Make of it what you will. Let's be honest, if that were the case, Smash Bros would be his major. Not happening. To be honest, we don't have time in our day to sit down and talk at length about what he has read. And I don't have time to sit down and specifically read those books to him. So we had to be creative in this. And the fun schooling journals solved that gap. My son is able to read the, read the material and then write down his thoughts, his opinions, and then I can sit down and read it and mark down questions and make him dig a little bit deeper. You know, okay, so he said in one of them, Christopher Columbus was maybe not so good at math. Well, that piqued my interest. Research this a little bit more. Tell me more. Who said that he wasn't so good at math? What made you think that he wasn't so good at math? Now, the books that I'm offering to my son, I'm taking straight off of the Ambleside Online curriculum. If you've researched Charlotte Mason, you may have stumbled across this website. It's great. It's a complete curriculum, complete for free from very like kindergarten up until 12th grade. It's a completely free curriculum. And I wish that it would have worked for our homeschool. It just didn't. But I still love utilizing their resources. Their book list is amazing. And it saves me time from having to research and Google books about history for teenagers or books about geography or books about science. One thing about Charlotte Mason's books 
book picks is that they are not dry textbooks. They're living books. They have characters. They have storylines. They, you know, things unravel through the storylines. It's more interesting than just a dry textbook. So I love using Charlotte Mason's uh, theories and I love using Ambleside Online to find those books. Now, habit training for my teenager. Charlotte Mason is very, 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 very passionate about habit training from like toddler years, which if you have a toddler, you're doing this naturally without even knowing it. You're doing this with your teenagers without even knowing it. They're the things that you put in place that you expect out of them every single day. So starting out, that might just be make sure that you brush your teeth, take a shower, change your clothes. We instill these things in our kids when they're very young, right? We teach them. You need to take care of yourself. You need to brush your teeth. You need, you need to do these things every day. Something happens. Something happens in their brain when they hit that those teenage years that just like causes them to forget they need to brush their teeth and take a shower and change their clothes every day. What is it? How does this happen? I'm sure there's some science behind it, but we got to refocus. We got to reinstill those habits. Along with the regular personal hygiene habits, we need to instill habits that we want our children to carry with them for the rest of their lives. We need to encourage them to read every day. We need to encourage them to pick up after themselves. We need to encourage them to do their devotions on their own without mom or dad reminding them. Do your devotion every day. Make it part of a habit. So I have a list of habits that I would like my son to have just part of his daily routine that he does without me reminding him. And what you do is you start out one by one. Once you see that one habit is just being taken care of and you don't have to remind them, then you add in another one. If anybody was to put down a piece of paper in front of you and say, here, here are the 12 things that I want you to do independently on your own. Do it. And don't make me remind you. That's overwhelming. That's totally overwhelming. And it's a little too gruff. I like to just do this without my son even knowing. I don't tell him that I'm habit training him. I just tell him nicely every day, don't forget to brush your teeth. Don't forget to brush your teeth. Don't forget to brush your teeth. And one day he's gonna start doing it without me having to say, don't forget to brush your teeth. When he's got that down, then I can throw in on top of that, hey, can you read for 20 minutes today? And then when he's got that down, then hey, don't forget to do your devotional. It's a building type of thing. It's not all at once. If you do all at once, oh my gosh, way too overwhelming. And honestly, too much for me to keep track of. Now, along with this Charlotte Mason method that we are going into for these teenage years, I still incorporate the good and the beautiful for language arts and history because it's we love it and I really don't think it's going anywhere. So I keep the good and the beautiful. And we do teaching textbooks for math because that has been working out amazingly. So along with these good rich living books and the fun schooling journals, I like to keep the basics of what we've been doing all along. Now that my son is a little bit older, his workload is a little bit heftier and that's okay. I mean, we expect them to build up their workload stamina. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see kind of what's on my son's habit list that we're going to get into, then leave me a comment down below because I may do a video on that if you're interested. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button right over there and join us on our homeschool journey. Not every day is easy, but every day is a blessing. Have a blessed day.